Hey, welcome to another TRP Tech Talk. I'm Dave, and today I'm going to run you through a couple key features of TRP's new Evo drivetrain. So check it out. The first feature on the TRP Evo 12 derailleur is our cage release. Uh, you can see this lever here, and if you put a little bit of preload on this lever, you can see that lever, how that moves. If you put a little bit of preload, you can actually release the cage pin, and that releases the entire cage, and it'll stay there for wheel removal. You can see how this is the actual piece under tension. And to put that back, all you need to do is push that lever down until the cage pin clicks back into place. So the second feature of TRP's Evo 12 derailleur is our hall lock. Uh, this is there to lock that main pivot bolt in place to prevent any unwanted lifting or slapping of the derailleur, keeping everything nice and quiet. Uh, it's also used for wheel removal. Uh, so in conjunction with our cage release, uh, if you do release the cage to get the wheel off, uh, you can then undo the hall lock and pull the derailleur back. That'll give you enough clearance to get the wheel out. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and re-engage the cage and then re-lock your hall lock back in place, keeping the derailleur nice and stable. Another feature of TRP's Evo drivetrain is our shift selector switch. This allows you to select whether to shift one gear at a time or to shift multiple gears at a time uh, just by the flip of that switch. Now here it is demonstrated in single mode. And here it is in multiple mode. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful. If it was, drop a like. And if there's any questions, go ahead and comment below or hit up our customer service team at info at trpcycling.com. And of course, for more content like this, make sure to subscribe and check out our website, trpcycling.com. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.